I go. Launchpad. What if the images on these coins symbolize the various tribes of Monko Kapquak's empire? Maybe if I surround him with them. Oh no, it's not working. Hey, maybe you need to say the magic words. Or maybe not. <laughs> Will you look at that? The ancient city of Manco Capquac. And that beam of light, it must be pointing to the Temple of the Clouds. But how am I going to get across? Up here, Mr. McD. found a legendary temple of Manco Capquack. With a little help from your old pal, Launchpad McQuack. Oh, <laughs> oh, of course, Launchpad. I couldn't have done it without you. Now just hold on, and with a little luck, that scepter will be mine in no time.
There it is, the king's scepter. Well, <laughs> oh, this was easier to find than a penny in a parking lot. Catch me, kilts. What was that? Get rich by being foolish. Mr. McD, this place has fallen to pieces. No, I'm not leaving without that scepter. Get us out of here, Launchpad. I can't believe we came all this way for nothing. What's the meaning of this? Outsider, our prophecies have long foretold that our ancient city would one day be returned to us. For hundreds of years we have waited, and at last that day has come. You mean you're not mad at me? Mad? Quite contrary, Feathered One. Is there anything we can do to repay you? Well, now that you mention it, uh, I did come here looking for an ancient scepter. I didn't suppose... Does it look like this? It fell from the temple. Oh, they're climbing for nothing, eh, Mr. McD? Bless me, bagpipes, the scepter of the Incan king! It is yours. Take it and go in peace. After all, it was just the old king's back scratcher. <laughs> of the Incan King. I tell you, boys, there's something special about this treasure. Really, Uncle Scrooge? Yeah, it just looks like an old back scratcher to us. <laughs> <laughs> you boys need to learn some respect for the finer things in life. Now, if you're done having fun at your old uncle's expense, help me decide where we should go next. A 
off I go. Pack your bags, boys. We're off to Transylvania, and we're no coming back without the coin of the lost realm.
This is it, kids. Draculesty Manor. Home of the legendary Drake Von Vladstone. Heir to the coin of the Lost Realm. Boy, it's kind of creepy out here, isn't it? Uh, Uncle Scrooge, we're not going to break into this guy's house, are we? Yeah, of course not, Louis. This castle has been abandoned for centuries. Hey, look at this. The Junior Woodchuck guidebook says Drake Von Gladstone was best known by his nickname, Count Dracula Duck. <sighs> Is there really a monster in there, Uncle Scrooge? Ah, uh, don't be silly, Webby. Yeah, there's no such thing as Dracula. Uh, right! Ah, uh, he is right, isn't he, Uncle Scrooge? Uh, of course he is, Louis. Vampires, banshees, and mischievous spirits are just a lot of superstitious hocus-pocus. Ah! <laughs> but you better stick close to me, just in case. Now you boys stay put and keep an eye on Wee Webigale. I'll be back with the treasure in no time. Aw, oh, nuts. We want to come with you, Uncle Scrooge. Don't worry. I'll be back with the coin before you can say E Pluribus Unum. E Purple Bus Whoom? Yeah, I'm not sure that's as fast as you think it is. Besides, why should we have to stay here just because Webby's a big chicken? Yeah! Oh, we're not afraid of. Oh, whatever's hiding out there, uh, are we? You boys are so mean. I'll show you who's not afraid of the dark. Wait, 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 wait Webby. Webby! Oh, no! Huey, Dewey, Louie! Will they be all right, Uncle Scrooge? Of course. Everything will be fine, my darling. Wait here, and I'll be back with the lads lickety-split. I'm out of here. Hey, that wasn't a ghost at all. It was a beagle boy in disguise. Trying to beat me to my treasure, no doubt. But it'll take more than just an old bed sheet and flower dust to frighten off Scrooge McDuck. Look, Uncle Scrooge, that beagle boy dropped something. It's an old piece of paper. Twist me, Tartan. It's an ancient rune. You mean like a magic spell? Hi, lad. At least part of one. Gee, I wonder who tore it into pieces. We'll worry about that later. Right now, I want you to head to the front door and wait for me. I'll be back once I've found the treasure. Off you go, lad. Yippee! 
no end to this madness. Nearly lost my hat on that one. Is there no end to this madness? Nearly lost my hat on that one. any lunch? No. no. Okay, okay. You don't gotta be all touchy about it. See ya. Ah, uh, that guy gives me the heebie-jeebies. He was starting to look at me like I was lunch. Well, next time he'll think twice before scrapping with Scrooge McDuck. Speaking of scraps, he dropped this hunk of Scrooge. Ah, it looks like another piece of that torn-up sorcery. Ah, uh, say what? A magic spell, and it's nearly complete. Just one piece left to find. If only I knew where to start looking. Well, that bungle boy did say this house has an illusion wall. Uh, do you think he meant? Of course, a secret passage. Oh, no wonder I've been having so much trouble finding anything around here. Good lad. Now, off you go. I need you to wait at the entrance with the others. on that one. This is madness. <laughs> this is actually starting to be fun. <laughs> Nearly lost my hat on that one. Mrs. Bigley, is that you? It most certainly is. Why, just look at all these cobwebs. This place could use a woman's touch. Oh, thank you kindly, dear. All right, then. Goodbye, Mr. McDuck. I'll see you back in Duckburg. <laughs> I knew it. This old duck still got it. Ooh. Ooh. Treasure. <laughs> I'm building one. 
Watch this. Part of the spell matches the inscriptions on this mirror. Oh, if only I had all the pieces to this puzzle. Gem like this before. It's a diamond the size of uh, 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 Mrs. Weekly. <laughs> 